That's down again. Ling, 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 Ling. Oh, huge! Whoa! Oh, What's up? Good morning, y'all. Fishing is therapy. Time to go get that therapy, bud. 3.30 in the morning. Getting ready to head out on the Sea Wolf. Rock fishing. First trip of the year. Super excited. Getting ready to take out both of my, my uh, combos. Spinning rock combo. Swim baited up. You know, feathers. All of that. Uh, we're going to try a bunch of different combo rigs out there. Um, got some big swim baits and stuff like that. So... I'm excited, man. It's time to go. See how everything everything turns out today. Um, seems like the swell will be pretty good. I think it was about uh, seven feet. Should be about seven sweet, but about uh, 15 or to 18 seconds, something like that. Pretty good, though. Pretty good day. Good weather out there. Uh, I'm going to meet up my buddy. He's going to be picking me up. Meet up my other buddy at the dock. Man. It's exciting. It's time to go. Time to go get that therapy. First rock fishing trip of the day. Let's all see, have good luck, limit out, and you know, catch some link cod as well. You know, that's everybody's prized possession. Try to get one of those and some verms, boy. We'll see how we do. Come back to the house, do a catch and cook. Once I do that, you know, what I mean, I think I may do the the baked uh, rockfish today. Maybe bake it. Maybe even blacken it a little bit. Stay tuned for another episode of Fishing is Therapy, boy. Right, guys, first first drop down. That right, John right here, yeah, we'll Sotero right there. Then to the bottom. Oh, got bit. Uh huh. Here we go, got one on. One on. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Come on, let me see, give me some deep color. There we go. A little olive to start. Got a double. If you catch medium yellows, we could let some of the smaller ones. Yeah. You let the smaller ones go? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's get big ones down there, dude. All right. Yo, y'all. Uh huh. Yeah, they bite him. Uh, all right. Oh, there we go. It's a nice olive. Nice size. Oh, nice. Oh, he got a nice vacatio. There we go. First fish. Keeper. She got over there. I don't know what that one is. That's vacatio. How many of those are you? Those are pretty good. 
There we go. Nice. Nice vacation down there. Got you. Cool. Yeah. That's a nice one right there, John. Yeah, so ones that look like that shape are big over there, the ones down there. Wow. All these are good. Yeah, they big all look down here. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, double, Daryl. Oh, so Daryl with the two. Nice size, Olive. Yeah. I'm getting hit before I can get to the bottom. Look. I ain't even getting to the bottom. I'm getting hit. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. You didn't even get to the bottom, huh? No, nice. Two nice ones. Uh, God damn, it big. <laughs> oh. if we don't over the rail, Look at that, I had to pull those away. over the rail. <laughs> those two nice ones right there. Heck yeah. Ooh, almost, that had a good hook set, top of the lip, top of the mouth. There yeah. we go, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, you got him in the back. Yeah, Dang, they, they thick down there. Thank you. What are all those skills? Oh, I'm hit before I get down. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got off. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that action. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Double. Uh oh. Tango. It's all good. God damn it. <laughs> oh, let's keep that line tight right here. All right. Oh, yeah, those ones are decent. Yeah, there you go. Nice size, huh? Good. You keep getting them in the back, too, huh? They, they so thick. <laughs> Yeah, we out here doing good so far. So Tara, how many you got so far? Four. Four. John, how many you got so far? Oh, I've got more. Yeah. We're only keeping the nice size ones. See these right here, y'all? Those, we're not even keeping those bait. These nice big ones in here. That's what we keeping. What's that down there? Oh. All right, guys. I'm going to wind up. And the oh. next spot is going to be Super Jagged. We're going to be anywhere from as shallow as 60 feet. This deep is about 180. So Fuck. you fill your sinker cap at the bottom. You got to make sure you take a few breaks on your handle. Just going to wind them up. We're going to run up there. Do you want to gas that? Or? Uh. There we go. Got an olive. John with the olive. Chris still trying to rizzle his up. <laughs> oh, nice size olive. All right. One goes back, the other goes back. That's too funny. <laughs> he ate somebody's anchovy. That's too funny. He had an anchovy in his mouth. Whew. These fish are nice size. I like the way the olives look. Look at all them fish down there. Oh, 
Oh, look at that one. Chasing Sotero stuff. Hey, Frenzy. Feeding Frenzy. Both of Almost up. Oh, wow. Almost up. Oh. Run, run. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> hey. I don't know. I got some. What's that right? Is that a ling? What, what is that? It's two fish. Oh. You're trolling. <laughs> Salmon trolling here. Huh? <laughs> they ain't even coming off. Alright. 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 Oh, look at that. Alright, guys, we're out here. <laughs> Thanks for catching rockfish. Just throw them back over. We're weary. Pretty much out of the rock. Oh, look at those chasing. Look, look. Yeah, I know. It's so fucking crazy. Feeding <laughs> frenzy. Hey, it's bananas right now. Everybody's oh, catching rockfish on the surface. Hold on, hold on. No bananas. It's bananas right now. Yeah. I got a fish on here. Oh, it's just you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Thought it was you. Oh, look at my tail. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Link. Uh... I just got some link out down there right now. Look at my swim bait. Look, look. Look. Took my tail off. No, he's oh. trying to. Oh, okay. I don't want to finish the rock fish. Wait a minute. Right, right. Right now. Oh, what you got on? So we're going to keep looking for them. You got something big on there? Yes. You got a ling on right here, it looks like, huh? Or a bacchio or something. Oh yeah, he got something nice on. Yeah, Link, that's gonna be Link. That's a Link out for yeah. sure. Run. Run. It's running on you? Yeah, that's a Link Cobb. Come on, John. John, what you got there? Yeah. Got a link cod? Woo, look at him out there working hard. Let's see what this is. It's got to be a link cod. Yeah, it's a link. Big yeah, one, too. Link, link. Oh, come on over here. Fuck it in there. Got him. First link. <laughs> First link. Yeah, let's go style. Yeah. There you go. 
You got him right at the end. <laughs> You're trying to eat the olive. Look at that guy. Get the video on the gas. That was terrible. <laughs> 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 You got something on there? Yes. Oh, it's big. Oh, my goodness. Got a big one? Oh, it's two. Go. Oh. Ah. Damn, I had to get by. Oh. Got one. Got one. That link? I don't know. Uh, nice size fish if it's not a link. Yeah, I still got it on. Uh, we'll see what this is. Oh, uh, no. Just uh, uh, China. That's what I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just what I like. China. I like this. <laughs> you like those too? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is it. This is therapy right now. Really good. Everybody's lemon out rockfish. Rockfish are going crazy. <laughs> We're just catching them, man. We're just having so much fun. Now we're trying to catch Link Hot. Link Hot, look what he did to my swim bait. I don't know if it was a rockfish that didn't come up swim bait or not. It took my tail. Everything, man. It's crazy. It's super fun right now. Moving to the next spot. Dude, can't ask for nothing better than this. Mm-hmm. I think it's a rockfish. Fuck. Found us already. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fuckers. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it's in like that cone here. It's attracting them. Look at that fish barely hooked. Yeah, he got my assist hook on that. Oh, oh, oh. Got it on the assist hook. Ah. Damn. Too many rockfish right here. Leave those poor guys alone. Damn. <laughs> Leave me be. Let me go. Head to the bottom again. Depth is coming up quickly. Oh. My, my, uh, came. Mine came. Oh, okay. Mine came. 
Oh, that's, oh, that's a nice china. Else, oh no, that's a copper, right? Yeah, that's, oh, that's, a copper. that's a copper. Oh, yeah, don't let it go. Yeah, just set your pole down and it'll lift it up a little bit. Really low my line, huh? That's a nice one. about that. The tarot is uh Bonita's tore up. But we all in search of the link up. Come on. The octopus top with an anchovy. Glow and dark swim bait with octopus tail. Let's see how this works. Keep taking my stuff. Wow, that's a, look at that one, man. Nice size. I got a bite, probably. What you got, huh? You got something on there? What are they? I think I'm on the bottom. Coming up, it looks like. It's been coming up, though, bro. It ain't you getting too much drag off of that. Okay. Watch me start fighting back. Got something on there, bro. He is not moving. Huh? Yeah. You can, you're the link card king today. What is that? That's a link card. A oh, wolf. Oh, it, oh, oh, shit. oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom, Satara. You got a fish, huh? Right. Link a hut. Wow. For sure. Unless you got a whole piece of the bottom. <laughs> Let's 
see. He hides and runs Is he pulling back? Yeah. Yep, lean. Nice. Good one, Satara. You see him? Hold him up. Nice. Oh, there you go. I think I got a lane. There you go. Are you under the boat, John? I think I got hey, one I on lane. Got a, I'm a loose now. I think I got a, a, something on. We'll see what it is. I'll let you know. Pulling though. Pretty good. We'll see what it is. Oh, yeah. they bite hey, it's only a big ass macro tail, so whatever. Around <laughs> over the. That's uh, stone again. Ling, 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 Ling. Oh, huge! Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Hey, you? That's nice. Uh, you yeah! yeah. Nice stuff. Yeah. Fish it is there, baby. Time to go get that there. So far in first place. First place right now, 10 and 3 quarters lake high. tuned guys it was a great day out there on the water everyone caught a link cod we all limited out on rockfish it was really cool it was foggy but the water was like glass it was amazing stay tuned i'm going to take you guys home and show you guys how we cook up this rockfish and link cod as well with brussels sprouts over rice we're going to do a baked version so if you can stand it sit through it enjoy the cooking and the tasting afterwards all right guys Guys, now we've um, cleaned the fish already. Look, after that one slab of link hot, still got an extra slab right here. Look how much we got right here. Nice, hefty, thick size, look, real thick. One olive rock fish right here. Make both of them butter, lemon, garlic, Cajun style, okay? So, hey, I'm gonna let y'all in on my secret weapon. Buy out, and you gotta have kabloom. For break for break all right so first thing you want to do is grapeseed oil has a high cook temperature really good i love to cook with this if not i cook with sunflower oil Get that open best thing to always do is over the pan like that or both sides of your fish. Why am I doing that? So the seasonings can stick. Okay. Oh, your both sides of the link hot. And this also gives you a base later on that you'll see I'm able to constantly pour <clears throat> and base the fish, pouring the, the juices and seasonings over the fish later on. So that'll serve my base. So I always add a little extra because I like the cook in it. And then I combine that with butter as well so now first seasoning <clears throat> let's get a little black pepper in this mix okay i do this like it's a ritual bam pepper lemon pepper the pepper in here has a different zest of course I know there you go. Lemon pepper on one side, lemon pepper the other side. Out of that lemon pepper, that's why I'm gonna cook. I always have to. Okay. 
I like we like our stuff uh, in the words of my sister flavorful so man let me keep the lids off of those I'm gonna use them I like to set everything up in order so I know how I put them on okay then we throw on some onion powder season it really want to get inside the fish too with the onion onion is gonna really enhance things later on <clears throat> with the garlic okay these is what i like to use basil i always add those at the end basil and oregano set those to the side <clears throat> 21 salute trader joe's <clears throat> and add a little bit of that is it more your robust seasoning And that start, you said it starts to create a nice seasoning layer. <clears throat> garlic powder, one of the things I can't live without. Garlic powder. Garlic powder is good just because it soaks in better than the garlic. I like to kind of baste it with this powder. It makes it a lot easier to use. I mean, the flavor of my stuff because I also have garlic here. So, you'll see why in a second. All right, Creole. Of course, I'm running out. Bam, got it back up, always. Okay. And then, before I put my paprika, I like to add my garlic. Inside my fish. So I like it to sit there. So when I rotate it, it kind of just reminds me that I want to do that. So then, before I put that in, actually, let me back up and put my black and season. This is a new one we're just gonna try out from Spiceology. See how this one works out. <clears throat> try this one out this is occasion but i already have my own homemade one that i make same seasonings this one's just like a quicker version just want to see how it, how it tastes if it can compare it to the one that i make on my own but you know nothing is better than homemade See, look, you want to get this side of the fish, too, the sides. But as I baste, all of that will <clears throat> be able to roll down in there. Now, for the, the finale, paprika. That, when you, the smoked one, when you cook it with the oil at a high temperature, it makes it kind of give it more of a sweet flavor, I've noticed over time, in my opinion. And that makes it, like, red, so then when you season it, it makes it really, really juicy. Inside again, paprika. Paprika. Right, it looks really well seasoned. Yeah, right? Now we're gonna do the opposite side. Now this side, I do a few things a little bit different. So now we see that we have a soaking down there, right? Now since we're doing that, I wanna add a lemon here. Lay it underneath, because also when you're, it's the, the lemon's gonna get so tender that you're gonna be able to eat the lemon with it, and it's gonna take on a sweet flavor. Of course, when you do any rockfish, in my opinion, it's best to always stuff it, fill it in with the, with the lemon. So you got the lemon and garlic, all of that flavor. It's gonna be awesome. Then. Add lemon underneath, it'll help it rise. So it's not just sitting down. And what that does, guys, my little trick, when I set the lemons underneath it, it won't allow for it to stick. So it will set on top of the lemon and the juice will keep it moist. And then when I add the butter and the oil constantly marinated in that way, 
it'll it'll make it work out really well. So now, bam. <clears throat> Let me set that set that to the side. Here we go. Let's go through our spices again. Pepper. This time won't do as much pepper on this side. <clears throat> I like my first side to be heavier at the bottom because that's kind of like what I use in my base. My lemon pepper, I gotta have my lemon. Okay. And you guys should let me know what, what, what recipes you use also with your uh, rockfish. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm also post one where I do blackened rockfish. Um, my wife really loves that. I make ceviche. And stuff like you've seen that too and just try a few other little things it's just like when you got so much fish and you, it's you can try different things so let me know something to try if you guys don't like this let me know something you know what i'm saying all right booming Okay, now this is when I add my garlic. I always want a little bit underneath my fish. I feel like it just absorbs better into it, the fish with underneath. And then when I like use the spatula to like for a plate the fish, it'll automatically grab garlic, which is cool what I like there we go garlic all over the top cause that's gonna, I want that to get kind of like crispy and brown at the top so yeah that just kind of generously put it everywhere man see so when you have this in order like this you don't lose your order now you, so you got garlic you got garlic powder Right, this side doesn't need to be as heavy because you all, you heavy you made it heavy on the other side. Okay. Now, Creole seasoning. Let's see if we have enough to cover this side. Okay, we do. Oh, look at that! I missed that little part right there. <clears throat> okay. Now, of course, this is going to be looking a little bit dry because the fish is rapidly absorbing all the seasonings. I prepare for that. This is where that base thing comes in. This is where when I make my fish, it just falls off the bone. It's just so easy. Okay. We go there. And then now <clears throat> I put the I put my lemon on top like this. Dress it like that. So look, if I take this portion, I get a lemon. If I take this portion, I get a lemon. Some people like to tell, I won't say who. Okay, paprika that up. Paprika that up. See, I notice I season my lemons. Bam. Now, now. Someone's telling me to get the rest of the garlic. You know what that is. Anyway, um, here we go as far as the basil. This is like, gives it a nice little taste, you know, but I, I like it more so. Me, personally, for presentation. Not really for taste. <clears throat> Good for presentation. And a little bit of oregano. Not too much oregano. All right, last thing. This is what we use, Earth Balanced Butter. Of course, I don't eat dairy, okay? And only consume my fish when I catch it, okay? So now, I do a lot of butter here. The butter, I do it like this. Just set it, and the idea of, the reason why I'm setting it like this is so that when this melts, as soon as it hits the oven, this is gonna roll down the sides of the fish. Okay. It's 
kind of layer around. It's going to roll down and that's going to create a juice that I'm able to scoop up later and pour on it and baste it. So that's something you guys can try out and see how it works for you. just put extra butter around the sides and this is so I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts you guys are gonna see that I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts as well <clears throat> so this juice will go over your rice so you have your fish put the, the broth from it over rice and that'll make it super good all right so you're gonna see how it's all gonna to come together Like, whoa, that's a lot of butter, but a lot of it's going to evaporate. It's going to create this crust. I don't want to see it later on. Okay, the last final thing is I do it like this, kind of create the volcano. This kind of lets me know how my butter and everything is going to run for the edges, see? Cause I don't want this to moisten too fast. There we go. So now, create your gravy. Create your gravy, no room for fish to stick. Okay, we're gonna put it on about 20, 25 minutes. All right, the oven is at 400 degrees. Okay, and then <clears throat> we'll check back with you in a second. All right, cool. All right, guys, um, I know if anybody, uh, anybody out there is like me, um, you probably don't have a Ziploc um you know to make the your your catch airtight but i found a pretty good method i did find it online i forget exactly who it's all from but uh i kind of improved it used my big uh gumbo pot here i got some 60 pound i mean 60 freezer bags gallon bags you got to use those size um you can use bigger because some of my fish um i had to cut like a you see see how this looks vacuum sealed because you use the water pressure pressure of the water air um uh, the pressure of the water pushes the air out of the bag and makes it has a freezer tight seal. It's actually pretty good. So you have to cut these this rockfish in in two to make it feel. But it's a really good method. Let me show you guys really quick how it could uh, work. Maybe it could benefit you. But well, this is what I use. You know, um, sometimes it's not all about the highest technology, but also just knowing how to make something work for you. So I've been doing this for a long time, and putting it in my deep freezer. So you just let it rest down there in the water. And as it goes that way, I leave a little bit of air pocket right here on this side, in this corner. And as you push it down in there, all the air rises to the top because the air does not stay underwater, right? So, and right when it gets right to the edge, like that, you close it. And look at that, seal. My vacuum seal. Okay, and I repeat that process two, three, four times, but I'm dropping them in the cooler because I'm about to put them down in my deep, my deep freezer. So I'm gonna repeat that one more time so you guys can see again. So I like to have my stuff packaged so when I do thaw it out or I use it, it's not frostbitten, and I know what kind of portions I want. So I have two rockfish here on the left side and a link cod. So when I get ready to fry that, bake that, whatever I do. Is going to be prepared for me. It's going to be, and it doesn't take a lot of space up in the, in the freezer. Okay, here we go again. Making sure I had that corner open. Seal every other part really tight. And then push. Right when it gets up to that Ziploc edge, don't let any water in, but close it tight. That's your vacuum seal. Look at that. Vacuum seal. All right. All right, guys. Uh, I'll be back with you guys for another another segment of Fishman's Therapy. My fish is almost done. It's in the oven. I hear it cooking right now. Actually, matter of fact, let me give you guys a little glance of what's going on zone right now. Let's get a little glance down in there. Let's get a little glance. Let's see what I was trying to tell y'all. Look at that. 
Get there, get there. Just want to show y'all how that's looking. You see how that? And then I just baste it like that. Mm. Wow. This side a little more, I want to get it a little better, so. Place it up here, top of the stove, so you guys can really get an angle. There you go. Let that base. See how those lemons are getting like that crispiness to it? You can eat those whole. Oh, this amazing. My wife's over here. She, she wants to drop the camera and just eat it. Look at all the tails, crispy. So the parts need to be crispy or crispy. You know the meat is cooking through the bones, it's splitting apart like that, 400 degrees. So far, it's, it's been about 20 minutes. I uh, baste it, right? And this is on the low rack. Now I can put about 10 minutes on the top rack. After 10 minutes on the top rack, boom! Bon appetit, and it's on to my Brussels sprouts. Okay, and this is not dry at all, as you can see. See this juice? I love the juice on my right. Let's take out that, that link up, boy. This is what happens when you get that therapy, boy. We about to have that therapy in our stomach, boy. With them Brussels sprouts and that rice, boy. Look at that lake. Look how it look. Look how it white. And, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. My bad. All right. Stay tuned. I'll be back. All right, guys. Fish is done. Okay, we're gonna move on to the Brussels sprouts in a few minutes. But bam, that's what you have right there. That's what you have. You see that? Is that juicy? That's what you have right there. You can do that over rice, do it over whatever you want. See that? It's tender. Okay? You wanna see how it flake off? Look, look at that. Look, look. Just let me show you right here. Look. But it's just soft as you can touch it. So. Mm. Woo! Ah, eat the ah, eat. Woo! Give him a taste test. Alright, let me show you. This is good. Mmm. So that's done down there. Now it's on to the Brussels. Let's see if it tastes like a king makes it. Oh, look how it's like flaking. It's gonna be even better over rice, boy. Mm. Wow. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Fishing ain't just therapy, cooking is therapy too, boy. <laughs> back with you when I start the Brussels sprouts. Guys, we back. Look, let's turn these brown on one side. We like them like that, crispy. Ooh, that one a little charred, charred. I like to do this, look. Ooh. You like them charred on one side? So once they charred like that, I know you like, those charred? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. Char them, because then on this side now, get him turned over right there. Let's not be stingy to him either. All right, she ready? Bam. So then from here, lemon him up. Boom I got a lot of extra lemon. That was for my fish, but I don't think I'll need it all. These lemons not producing a lot of juice. See how that steams it up? Okay. 21 salute. Main thing, Creole. Pop a little bit in there because it's spicy. A little lemon pepper, boomy. Then, throw that garlic in there. Okay. And then you just kind of sizzle it around and saute it like that. 
just to brown that garlic enough, just to bring out the aroma of that garlic. Just enough. So you got that lemon, you got that garlic. I wish you could smell it. Mmm, smells so good. Now, last thing, red pepper flakes. That's how quick your meal can be done, like that. It's gonna take about five minutes. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, we're done. See how that look? We like them like more so like that. Look. See how the leaves, all of that's kind of like brown, nice and green on the other side like that. It's tender inside, but it got a crispy crunch to it. Boom, turn him off, done. All right. I'm glad you guys came along with me, man, for the fishing trip. Cleaning the fish, which is really rinsing the fish off. Um, preparing the fish, I know it looks good to you guys. We got the rice and we got the Brussels sprouts. All right, I'm gonna sit down, have my plate, see you guys, show you guys a picture of how it looks when it's in. Again, fishing is therapy, it was a great day. I'm super excited um, and just happy to be home with my family in the day with a great meal, fresh caught. Fishing is therapy, go get that therapy, boy. Oh yeah, I love it.